Dark Random Podcast, episode 16. Let's go. I am Dark Random. Hey there, folks. We're coming in just one day after Donald Trump's criminal trial began. What people were calling the hush money trial, but what actually is an election interference trial. You know, I thought it would be good for us to take a look at how the MAGA is receiving and interpreting uh, this information that's coming out. And so who we're looking at today is a gentleman named Brian Craig. He is a Florida man. He hosts a radio show called The Ryan Kane Show. This is actually on the radio. Uh, I don't know the deal with it. I, I've never seen Ryan Kane. Brian Craig's a co-host. Brian Craig is the only one on the radio. It, it's strange. I don't know what it is. Uh, he also has his YouTube channel. He says he does a podcast. Um, you could go check him out. You can actually call into his radio show and uh, debate him. Um, in the end, though, this is just another hopium pusher. You know, in the video we're looking at, he really, it, it's, it's interesting how much he, throughout this video that we're going to look at, he harps on that there's really no evidence and what a great day today is. And, you know, I don't think he's... Well, I think he's trying to sell the audience on that, but I think he's also trying to sell himself on that too. He, this is right before he goes into his uh, show. And so uh, I think he's trying to get into the right headspace so he can go in there and spin this in the right light. Either way, let's, let's take a look. What they learned that jury yesterday is that the prosecution has no evidence. Uh, they have one line on one document that says legal services, and that's all it says. That's what Trump approved, legal services for his scummy attorney, Michael Cohen. And, you know, the, the news, the way they're characterizing it, they keep calling it the Stormy Daniels payment, but it didn't say anything like that on the document. So everything you're hearing in the news from yesterday's trial is just total BS, okay? It said legal services, not Stormy Daniels payment. And... That's it. I mean, it's they've got zero. They've got less than zero evidence, which is hard to imagine, right? Less than zero evidence. If you're new to my channel, my name is Brian. This is where MAGA comes to talk. And just a great day. Great day. You know, and... I mean, did you see the nervous twitch in his hand there and how he kind of keeps looking around as he's trying to spin it as a great day? <laughs> no, but let's go back to what he was saying about the documents there. Alan Weisselberg, the CFO for the Trump Organization, he is not testifying in this case or in this trial. And the reason why is because he's currently um, serving time in Rikers Island. However, they were able to get his notes, right? And the prosecution was able to get his notes. So this was well documented in bank records by the CFO. And not only that, but in the CFO's handwriting, in his notes, he, he documented the specifics of the agreement between him and Michael Cohen. Uh, him and Michael Cohen then went and discussed this with Donald Trump. Um, Michael Cohen is going to be there to confirm this and testify to this. The notes are going to demonstrate this. The bank records are going to demonstrate this. Um, you have other people uh, like David Pecker, who, who's collaborating, saying yes. This was a normal thing that we did to, to pay these people off. You have the people who received the payments there saying, we received these payments. You know, it is kind of an overwhelming amount of evidence, and I could see why Brian here would be freaking out a little bit. Let's, let's take a look and see what else he has to say, though. And the, the liberal mainstream media not only seem very depressed, but they're talking about a mistrial, a mistrial. And isn't that something? They want to avoid the possibility of an acquittal now that they see there's zero evidence. And they also... This part is really funny, right? That the liberal media seem very depressed. Like, I'm going to show you a clip in a second where Rachel Maddow is literally giddy over Alan Weisselberg taking notes, right? It, this guy, the spin he is doing in this alternative reality he's living in, I think reality is starting to, to you know, the sky is falling and it's, the reality is starting to cave in on him. But um, it'll be interesting to see when they, when they begin accepting reality again. And they have now seen there's nothing. 
I mean, how many investigations are they going to do and realize that Trump does no wrong, that breaks no laws? Every investigation, he is cleared. Yeah, if you're new to my channel, subscribe. You'll love my content. I love the dear leader comment right here, right? Um, Trump never does any wrong. Trump only sinks holes in ones. Like, you know, Trump never poops. All of these, uh, you know, batshit crazy ideas around uh, dear leader. Uh, and then all of the trials work out in his favor. They're always cleared. Um, he owes E. Jean Carroll $81 million. He, he literally put up a $175 million uh, bond uh, to go to appeal, but that's, you know, to cover the fines that he owes in a scenario where he loses that appeal. Again, completely disconnected from reality, like tinfoil hat time, let's go. Now, of course, if Trump was just reimbursing Cohen, there was no need to gross it up for taxes. They doubled it because their plan was to call it income instead of a reimbursement. If Cohen was getting money they were calling income, he would have to pay taxes on it. Cohen was close to a 50% tax bracket, so to make him whole on the $180,000 that the defendant owed him, they had to double the amount to three hundred and sixty. dollars Then he had added another $60,000 as a year-end bonus, and all of that comes out to a total of $420,000. And Alan Weisselberg wrote all of that down. Whereupon I annoyed the people sitting near me because I snorted out loud and said, ooh, he wrote it all down? If you were a fan of The Wire, this is the scene where Stringer Bell turns to the young man and says, are you taking notes on a criminal conspiracy? <laughs> Using a lot of swear words. Yes, yes, he was taking notes on a criminal conspiracy. Prosecutor Michael Cl Matthew Colangelo, Alan Weisselberg wrote all of that down. The, uh, the, yeah, I, can't, I can't believe this is real. The bank statement that I told you about that he asked Cohen to bring to their meeting, the bank statement from the Essential Consultants account, which showed the $130,000 wire that Cohen had made to Keith Davidson to keep Stormy Daniels quiet. You will see in this trial Alan Weisselberg's handwriting down the side of that bank statement, laying out every one of the steps that I just described. Oh, man, just a, just a great day. Just a great day. I am dark red.